Hey guys, Matthew here. Today I'm going to show you the very best mat stretches that you can do to reduce your back discomfort or your back pain. Roll down onto your back. The most important stretch you can do is called full body stretch. If it's okay for your shoulders and your back, you just float your arms up and overhead. You want to arch your back here. Arch your back. Stretch your legs out straight and point through your feet and your toes. The reason why this stretch is so important is because when you're laying on your back, there's three times less stress than if you're sitting in a chair. And there's two times less stress than if you're standing upright. So if you need your back to relax, how can you possibly stretch it when there's all these forces acting on it? Now the next stretch is called knee hug. You want to hug your right knee into your chest, but make sure when you do this that your back still has its arch in it. So a knee hug, you hug your leg in, but you keep the arch in your back, the neutral arch in your low back. You keep that really solid. And now you can really stretch your glute. See if you drop your hip down, or you drop your butt down and drop your back down, you lose the essence of this stretch. So stay arched in your back, hugging that leg in. Then you reach to full body. Full body stretch number two. You can exaggerate that arch. Ah, really open up. And then hug your left leg in. Knee hug number two. Right. While you're hugging that knee, you can roll out that ankle. Take care of that guy. Now the next stretch, if you'll just keep your left knee hugged into your chest, we'll twist into ultimate back stretch. So ultimate back stretch now is our first twisting stretch. What you want to do is twist over with your low body using your middle back to twist. Then let your head and shoulders drift over with you. You can even put your head, uh, you can cradle your head in your arm. Now, with your back hand against your pelvis, twist your upper body back against the stretch. And this stretch is for your middle to low back and your pelvis, your hip muscles. You don't have to work all the way to the floor. You can be back just a little bit if you want to. Now you stretch your top leg way out and you exaggerate that chain by arching your stretch, arching your back. Then you tuck that leg in and rewind the stretch with your ab muscles. Immediately after you twist, go long. Long full body stretch. Let's hug the right leg in. Ultimate back stretch going to the left. Now you twist. Let your upper body go over with that twist. Oh, I just got my adjustment there. You don't need to resist the twist so much with your head and your shoulder. We'll do a shoulder stretch in a minute. So you just push over, oh, twist back a little bit. And you feel how you're just taking care of your back in this open chain way. Now you stretch that leg straight out get a big old stretch across your body then take a deep breath in and untwist that stretch one two full body on our long stretch we need to do a couple of shorter stretches now with the knees bent now the next stretch you do is flexing your low back and imprinting your pelvis. So if you take a peek at my low back, look what I'm doing. <sighs> imprinting, drawing inwards and flexing the low back. 
even so much that you're flexing your tailbone all the way off the mat. Now, when you do that, you're creating a powerful force, stretching your low back while you're working your abs and your glutes, if you haven't felt that already. Now, the next stretch is a bridge, but you're stretching out your hip flexors. So see if you can feel deep in those hip flexors that your imprint and your bridge is actually stretching the front of your hips. If so, you're absolutely doing this one right. And you just want to pump oh, that hip stretch, pump into the hip flexors, really trying to expand at the hip flexors. Y'all feel that stretch? Now you roll it down. You keep that imprint and stretch your hamstring. So the reason why we're stretching this way is because these are open chain stretches. Open chain stretches are safe. You got your body moving, ah, feeling good. Doesn't matter if your hamstring's that tight. What really matters is that you got some good core integrity. Pull. Now keep it up there for sledgehammers. Sledgehammer, imprint, firm. And use your thigh muscle to help you. Ah, sledge, sledge. Whew. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Now cross that right leg over the left and press it away from you. There's your figure four. Now this is an important stretch. You can feel that on the outside of your hip. And if you can, go ahead and grip your foot or your ankle joint. Add a little torque on that femur. And you can stretch into that hip socket. I like to curl up. Oh, and add a nice stretch in here at the hips. Yeah, figure four feels good. Ooh, then you can just step that guy down. Yeah, twist out those hips just a little. All right, we're gonna do left leg, straight leg raise, sledgehammer, and figure four. Left leg, straight leg raise, lift, and lower. Ooh, you see, part of the, the challenge of stretching your hamstring is number one, keeping your back stable. So you gotta keep your back stable. You've chosen an imprint, so keep it. Now, you gotta make your thigh and your hip flexor dominant muscle groups. So squeeze your thigh hard. Squeeze your hip flexor hard. Now pulse and make that hamstring stretch because you got strength. Ooh, yeah, six sledgehammers. Five, four, three, two, one, and cross it over. Figure four stretch. So if you'll turn onto your side facing the camera, the next move is so powerful. It's called pendulum. And what you wanna do is pull down and twist from your middle back and sweep your arm up and around to one side and then twist and return. So you pull, twist open with your neck and your shoulders Stretch over, then pull down and close it up. Now, when you twist open into that upper back, feel neck, upper back, middle back, stretching open, really twisting through those, all the way out through those fingertips. Oh, and then close that stretch up. Now you can just prop your head up as you stretch out your thigh muscle. Another one, you gotta stretch all these muscles out. <sighs> now I'm gonna turn back to the camera, backside to the camera so you can see pendulum coming at you. So you bring your arm down, twist open, middle back, upper back, neck and shoulders, and then Twist open. 
deep inhale and then close that twist back up if you got a chiropractic adjustment awesome middle back arch that back arch it and then stretch open deep breath oh, close it up one more pendulum oh these feel so good open oh, and close it and then just laying down stretch that quadriceps want to pull on that ankle joint not your foot necessarily pull back all right guys now if you can kneel let's finish up with kneeling if it hurts you if it hurts you to kneel you can finish with those stretches right there that series is real good okay now kneeling we can do some really powerful upper or excuse me middle back stretches now the classic stretch is cat stretch so what you want to do is flex your middle back <laughs> And that's your thoracic spine. So you're trying to flex your middle back and create a rounded shape. Not just pulling from your head and your tail, but actually flexing using your ab muscles so that your middle back is the highest point in your cat stretch. And then when you extend, try to extend your middle back, your thoracic spine, going against its natural curve. So you're not just flip-flopping your pelvis and your neck, but you're actually creating flexion in your middle back. Now there's a really powerful stretch here, and it's called sidewinders. Hee. So you twist with the flexion in your middle back. You step your leading hand up, your trailing hand back, and then you twist with flexion in your middle back. And this is a powerful combination of spine movements. Now, sink back, flexing your back with your hips going back towards your heels. And you've got a tail wag now coming from the pelvis. Oh. Oh. And the last one. Now extend your back. Keep your back in extension as you go into Crouching Tiger up on your claws and now twist with extension in your back twisting to one side and twisting to the other twisting other side you see how your shoulder doesn't drop you don't want to drop here you want to stay up and the other. Hey guys, that's it for today. Hope those stretches help you take care of your back a little bit better. When you stretch with that open long chains, it's a lot safer for your back and you're really lengthening your muscles the way the new evidence is showing. If you try to stand up and touch your toes over and over again to stretch your hamstrings, probably not going to do much for you. Instead, use the stability. Use the, use the relaxing nature of the mat or of your bed or even a physio ball to help you stretch from your back with open long chains. And hopefully these will help you uh, take care of your back in a few different realms. Huh. All right. It's been a full day of Pilates. Thanks for watching me all the way to the end. Let's keep taking care of ourselves together 
and defining our victory bodies together.